everybody, this is Christine with Coco Daisy, and today I'm going to share with you my planner setup for May. Talk about some of the absolutely beautiful um, items in our Tranquility collection. And this is actually um, a, a reboot or a second version of one of my all time favorite kits that we did. It had a, a lot of the greenery and the ferns, and it was May. 2017 I think don't quote me on that it's been a while but it's always been one of my absolute absolute favorites and I wanted to to bring it back so we brought it back we um, switched things up whenever we do a reboot we always try to it will nod to the original but it, it it's completely redone so we do um, bring in new product we uh, new ideas, new artwork, but we we nod to to what was made it um, very popular and generally one of my favorites. <laughs> so this is the Tranquility Collection. It is for May. We still have. Let's see. I made a note. We have just a couple of the T and M K and the Classified Planner kits um, in the store. So the Traveler's Notebook, Memory Keeping. The classified planner edition there's just a couple of those i just checked i moved um some things around there are a few of the main planner kits there's some without insert and then i was able to move a couple things around there's a, there's a few with a couple of various inserts i believe the classic vertical and mini there's just just a handful there's not a lot of those left and then there is a few of the classified uh, memory keeping. But I'll, I'll mention as we go where I get what from and, um, and just show you some of the, the beautiful things. I, I made a number of projects and I'll show you those as well. And um, I'm gonna start with, I'm actually using my white Vanderspeck. I used this for April and I just love the way all the beautiful greens and teals just pop against that white. So I went with the white one again. So this is my beautiful white Vanderspeck. And I went a little crazy on the pocket just because I just kept tucking and tucking bits and pieces. And um, of course, grab those free printables. You can see mine are like, I don't even have all the pages. They're all just really, really chopped up. But you can build plants on these. So what we did is we have the planters and then you can cut out the various little plants and kind of build your own little potted plants, which is a lot of fun. And then of course the cute moths are in there as well. So you can see where some of these are die cuts. Some of these, I cut them out from the printables. There's a couple of um, items and I'll try to point them out there from um, the original and so like that little button there is from the original this little potted plant was from uh, January so that's something that you can go and grab that will go with it and what and this and Simon holding the little potted plant is so stinking cute and he is he is part of the main planner kit and then you'll see where I did a lot of stuff with the rub-ons we had these absolutely beautiful rub-ons and then there was one in the Modern Memory Keeping Kit, one in the Traveler's Notebook, and then I, I don't remember if this was in the main planner or in the planner add-on. I can check and I'll make a note of that. But yes, we had these beautiful, beautiful, fun uh, rub-ons. The notepad is kind of a nod to our weekly stripe page. But you can see where I used some rub-ons on a couple of the cards in there, and then just some fussy cut of a few of the um, few of those uh, plants, and then just tucked them all in. And then on the front cover, I added uh, I added one of the moths, and then I added a few of the glitter dots. And the glitter dots were just beautiful. You can never get tired of the glitter dots. <laughs> I'm just going to start paging through and talk about some of the things that I did. Added another little moth right there. And this is something fun. So you've seen me use the, the heavy acrylic uh, to put my pen holders on in the back. 
and I've used them before where I've shown you where I've sandwiched photographs. In fact, I've got an old one in here. I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, but I wanted to use another one because I loved this card was from a couple months ago. And then this card was on the free National Scrapbooking Day. And I wanted to tuck those in, but I didn't want to tuck them in like, like I normally do. And I had a couple of pictures that I thought went so pretty. So what we, this is a, a 12 by 12 acrylic sheet. We sell these in the store and you can buy them and you can cut them down with your, like if you have a rotary trimmer, you can cut these down just to have to do a couple passes with the rotary trimmer to get them to, to go through. And then a heavy duty, um, like a crocodile punch and you can punch the holes. And I just thought it made a pretty divider page, um, just a pretty dashboard type of page. I just liked the way that that looked. So it just kind of was a, was a fun addition. And I, I really liked that little card. This uh, beautiful, you see the little foil accents on there? So some of it is foiled, some of it is not. This vellum is part of the classified planner edition. That's what that is. And I'm switching things up a little bit this month. I'm gonna try something different. So normally I have my Stripe page that I go to and that's usually where I do my, my brain dump for the week. I'm gonna do something different. So I would like to utilize these pages a little bit more, the week on two, uh, the week on two pages. And Previously, I was just kind of writing down, uh, if I was, for my memory keeping, I was jotting down notes. I didn't find that I used that so much. More what I would do is just write down the photo. Well, I don't need that much space. So I'm gonna write down the photo on here, and on here I'm gonna do my weekly brain dump. It gives me a little bit more room. Um, so I, I'm gonna try that this time. And I had, I had so much fun stamping on these pages. So I wanted to show you so these are the two stamp sets that we had for May. This one was part of the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. And then this cute little Build a Plant one is part of the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And what's fun is, so there's this little, this little piece here is actually, let me show you right in the book, because I did one, is actually like meant to be stamped for a little shelf. And then you can choose which pot you want and which um, plant you want to put in the pot. So it's a lot of fun to do. So that is part of the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. These, I thought, so I'm going to show you some of the stamps that I pulled out of my stash that I thought worked really well with those. So if you go back, I thought the little birds, these were from January. I thought they just went so cute with the little potted plants. And this was another bird set uh, from a couple of years ago. And we've had a number of uh, bird sets. So if you have any of these, I think they go really, really well with all of the floral and fauna and, <laughs> and ferns and everything. Just because if you think garden, it makes me think of the little birds that we always have outside my window in the garden. So I thought they looked really cute with that. And then this set from uh, February also has these really pretty branches and I thought that they went well with the set. And then this, total flashback, this is a really old Cocoa Daisy. So if you've been with us for a long time, look in your stash, you might be able to find these. I thought these went really well. So I just, I had so much fun with the little birds. And then I just used, um, uh, some of the number stickers from one of the sticker uh, kits and numbered mine and so you can see where I did a bunch of different stamping kind of mixed and matched those all together and then I did the little flying bird across here and then I used this little um, I loved this little plus sign almost like you can make a background with that I added that in a few spots I tucked in a few of the sticky notes. And then you've got the little birds sitting on the pots. <laughs> so a little trick with that, actually, let me let me explain that. So a little trick with that. So you can stamp the stamp the pot 
And then, so this little guy looks like he's he's perched on this piece of paper right now. But what you would do, so you'd stamp the pot, you'd take a piece of um, just like scrap paper and you'd lay that right at the edge of the pot. And then when you stamp him over top, you, you won't get this stamped over top of your pot. It'll stamp on the scrap piece of paper. You pull that away and then he looks like He's just sitting right on top of the little pot. So that's a fun way to, um, to make them look like they're perched on the little pots. And then there's a few more, some stickers. I didn't do a whole lot in here. I liked the stamping. And then as I go through, as I add things, if I need to add in some stickers from the sticker kits, I can do that, some um, date stickers and that kind of thing. Now we go to the stripe page. So usually the stripe page is on is at the beginning. So like I said, I'm switching things up. This tag, I love these tags and I've started using them every single month to just kind of hold my little menu card. So what I did is I took two of them and stuck them back to back. And these are part of the classified memory keeping kit. And we've had these um, for a few months now and we're gonna continue to have them because I think they're so versatile and they're so fun. You can use them in memory keeping, you can use them in planning, you can use them in memory planning. You can do a lot of different things with them. So I think they're a fun addition. So I just use it kind of as a little place card. It holds my little laminated uh, menu card that I use just to kind of help me if I'm stuck for dinner. It's kind of got my go-tos on there. I added, um, see this was from the printable and then a small, little bit of a rub on underneath but I thought that the stripe of that looked so nice with the striped pages and then this is just um, this overlay is just from my stash and uh, about the overlays a lot of you have asked for those to come back and I've just kind of um, we have obviously have a budget per kit and for a while there were some items I was not able to uh, get in the classified planner edition and I believe with um, June we were able to to get that back so we do have a piece of vellum and an overlay in the classified planner for June and I think I did it for July as well I think I was able to so for the stripe page what I'm going to do what I like to try and do for my memory planning in my daisy planner is try to take a photo a day and sometimes I'll do that, but then I forget what photograph went with what day. So what I'm gonna start doing is writing down at the end of the day, the photograph that's supposed to go on that day. So that's what these striped pages are for. So every day I will write down the photograph. If I wanna write down any journaling notes, I can do that as well, but I don't need a lot of space just to write down the photograph or a little note. So I thought I'm gonna try doing that on this stripe page. So one of the things I did, I just did a couple of different ideas. I was playing around, cause like I said, this is kind of new. And I used some of the, uh, the, the round label stickers. These were in the classified memory keeping uh, kit. And I cut them in half. And I just put, I found an old stamp that I had that said hashtag photo. And I stamped that in there and then I added a rub on above each one. I did a little stamping. There's a little more rub on on that one. And then I thought, well, I don't know if I want to use all of my label stickers because I have some ideas I want to use them for as far as memory keeping. I'm like, I don't want to use them all up. So I, so I liked that. So, and then I did a couple and I thought, well, maybe if I stamp next to it and I write in the circle, I didn't particularly love that. So I left all this this way because I just wanted you to kind of see the process. And then what I ended up doing is just stamping on the on the page. And I thought, you know, I kind of like that the best, but I it was kind of boring, to be honest, like just that stamp there. I didn't want to add a lot of other stuff. It's a beautiful page. So what I did is I just took one of the sticky notes to just break things up a little bit on that page. So it doesn't take a lot to decorate the page. I'm just using a sticky note, a die cut, 
And so for this day, for Wednesday, it will just be written in here. And it just kind of breaks that up and it looks nice. And again, that one of the things about the pages, about the inserts, you can decorate them or not decorate them. It is totally up to you. I show them probably a little more decorated just because I want to give you ideas. But honestly, if you have a busy month, that's the beauty of our inserts. They're already decorated. You don't have to spend a lot of time embellishing them and don't feel guilty if you don't embellish on them. Just use them. They're beautiful, write on them. Help make your day go easier because you have those to-do lists and don't worry about embellishing them if you don't have the time. If you do, if you if that's your creative outlet, then do that. But by no means do you should you ever feel guilty that you're not filling up those pages with a bunch of other stamping and artwork and all of that. We do that, uh, myself and the, and the team, we do that to show you how, but please don't ever feel like you have to. That's why they're already decorated with a beautiful art, to make it easy and make it simple for you. And make your life easier. That's the whole purpose, right? So on the backs of these, I do my menu planning. So I just use some of the stickers. These are the um, day stickers from the um, planner add-on kit. I just did a little stamp with the meal plan. So I'll write out my meal on there. And then um, I just, this is my little grocery list. So I just take a sheet off of the notepad, put it in there and I can write my groceries on there. So you can see I did, I just followed that, that same kind of layout. So it's very uniform, it's very easy to do. And it, like I said, just that little bit breaks up the whole thing. Little rub on on one, um, die cut. And remember our die cuts are stickers. They have adhesive on the back, so they are stickers. I did a little rub on there, a little there, a little there. So super easy, easy. And then we go to, this is one of the dashboards. The dashboards are sold out. Uh, so if you were lucky enough to snag those, what I did is I printed out kind of my everyday schedule. I like to just kind of try to aspire to that. I printed that out on a printable. And then I printed out the printable and then I ran it through the printer again with my, um, with my schedule on there. And I added that to the back of um, the back of the dashboard. The dashboards come with two sizes. There's the A5 and the personal. And you'll see how I use both of them in my uh, in my planner. So I did some stamping here. I, there's some rub-ons. I loved these kind of messy uh, stitches in the rub-on sheets. Those are one of my absolute favorites. Are those messy stitches? And then uh, another one of those. Um, this one's an oval die cut and let's see that's why I didn't want to use them all I knew I was going to use a bunch of them and um, I, another um, little butterfly that I cut out of the I think that's from the printable and you can see here where I did one of my build build my own little pot there and some rub-ons and then my calendar page and I had so much fun building pots on the calendar page so some of these are from the printable some of these um, are die cuts, and then some are actually a couple of stickers. So I kind of did a, um, a mishmash of a bunch of them. D there's a couple rub-ons, there's a little bit of stamping, there's some of those beautiful vellum stickers that are in here. And then this die cut I found fit the square in the calendar perfect. So I just kind of put that in there and I raised it with a little bit of foam adhesive, added a few glitter dots. And that's, you're not supposed to see that. I'm gonna take that out, that's bad. Somebody made that for me and it's not supposed to be in there. For you to see anyway, it's in there for me. A friend of mine made that. So anyway, we're just gonna take that out because it's got a naughty word on it. So um, a few more rub-ons and then another one of the dashboards. And what was neat about this dashboard is um, it has this butterfly and it has this, this little moth or butterfly was on the printable sheet. And what I did, he's a little bigger, but I cut him out and I put him on there. I thought it was kind of neat the way that you could still see the other one underneath. Added a few glitter dots and a few of the, um, I, I believe I cut this out of the printable as well, these little 
uh, leaves and then just raise them up with a little bit of uh, foam adhesive. And then you can actually what this page is. So when you get your daily pages, it starts with this page, but they're meant to be used as a two page spread. So what I did is I covered up that one page so that it opens automatically to that two page spread. And our inserts now come without anything on these um, headers or labels or sections. And so I went through and I stamped them all. So you can totally customize it. We had a stamp set and we're gonna have some in the store soon, I promise. But we had a special promo a while back and um, we had this stamp set and it has, all, it has the dates, it has the days of the week, there's weather trackers, there's a hydration, and then it has all of these different headers. And uh, so that's how I have been stamping all of my pages. Now, if you don't wanna do a bunch of stamping, just write them in, or you can use different stickers. Um, you can just, the, the nice thing about it is you can customize these pages then however you need them. So that is the daily pages. And then I'm gonna go on to all of the other fun stuff in here. So this is another little list that I have for the month. And look at that, I've got three things highlighted. I'm so proud of myself. So um, printable, printed it out just like I did on the other page. And then this is one of the four by, this four by six card I believe was in the uh, planner add-on. A uh, couple little glitter dots, of course and a little die cut of one of the cute little moths. I put that on there. And then this is another one of the, um, another one of those label stickers or label die cuts. This one I raised up with a little foam adhesive. This die cut is from one of the memory keeping kits. So I just added that on there. I, I really liked the black of that on this uh, paper. This paper is from the um, plan, the main planner kit. And I made my little pocket. I added a die cut, um, another die cut, one of the tab stickers from the main planner. And then this, if you're not familiar with what this is, oh, and I wanted to mention too, it's, it's a, a washi card. So it's a clear acrylic. It comes with a, it, it has a real fine little piece of plastic adhered to it that you need to peel off. So if you haven't done that, if you kind of work at it, you'll see that that's on there. It should be on there and you peel it off. And what it does is it just protects it from getting scratched. So I think a lot of people don't realize that because it's on there really well. And if you didn't know and you didn't know to pick at it, you wouldn't know that. But they put those on the acrylic to keep them uh, from getting scratched. So you're gonna to wanna to peel that off. But what it's meant to do, you can obviously, you can use it as a little bookmark or you can tuck it in a pocket and you can wrap a little bit of washi around that. And then that way you don't have, you know, the big ring of washi, you can just have a little bit for if you need it and you can just kind of tuck it in a little pocket there. And then the bookmark and the bookmark, I made this using the smaller, uh, smaller dashboards. So there's some paper and then I cut out, I layered some more of those little, um, from the printable, did a little stamping on there just to kind of give it that fun layer. And then this side I thought was so pretty that what I wanted to do was add a little bit of stitching on here. So what I did is I just took some embroidery floss and I did a little bit of stitching and went down on there. Now, obviously I did that before I adhered them together so that you don't see the back side of it. And then what I did is I, I wanted to have a spot to put a few of the post-it notes without putting the whole pad in there and adding a lot of bulk. So I just put them on the card there or on the bookmark and added a couple of glitter dots. And I like just that little bit of texture. I think it's soft and it's pretty. Um, you could totally go crazy with the whole idea of embroidering and choose some of the papers that had the leaves and embroidery around those on some of the dashboards and that would be really pretty to do as well. I just kind of ran out of time. And then another card that I made, and this is just kind of creative stuff that I want to keep track of. I used a little clip, this one, and then this little gingham 
These are from the classified planner edition. I cut the tops of mine down. I just wanted them a little lower, um, but that's what those are from. The card is from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. And then you can see some more rub-ons on there. And of course, the printable. And then the little puffy alphas, those are from the, uh, the two memory keeping kits as well. And then same idea here. I used one of the printables, um, added some die cuts, some of the puffy alphas, a few stickers on here. And then the back is just a uh, patterned paper and our adorable little Simon card. And he is in the classified planner kit. And I love this one. He's like, yes, I do need all these plants. He's got the little greenhouse behind him. And then I take um, just kind of whatever we have extra of, or I may have a sample of, I will take uh, one of the Dory booklets, and this is the standard size one. I'll cut it apart, and I like to have the little calendar in here, but then I like to use these for lists. So I have longer um, pages that I can use if I, if I need to do a lot of listing or I need to think something through or take some notes or something. These are nice and handy to just um, punch the holes in and, and put in my binder with my, um, and of course then they match because it all coordinates and put that in with my pages. And then the pretty teal bow. And then these are the dashboards. And then this is the A5. And then these are the, um, the personal size. And again, when I mentioned that embroidery, if you were doing a dashboard and you embroideried around just a few of these leaves would be so pretty. Or even if you had some silver thread and you did some of those little curly cues, it would be really, really pretty to add to a dashboard. And then just, I use just the smaller size kind of as to subdivide. And there's another one of those. Uh, that little gingham ribbon clip. And then these, if you're unfamiliar in the classified planner um, kit, there is a little, you'll get a little button. If you're new to Coco Daisy, you're like, what is this for? Actually what it is, is it's it goes on our magnetic clip. So that's a magnet whoop, and it just pops on there. You can get these in the store if you don't have one, by the way. And that way you can switch it out every month. And it's a nice big clip too, which I like. And then, so this is one of the examples that I had mentioned of using that clear acrylic. This one, I just have a couple of photographs sandwiched on there, which is fun to do and just kind of tuck in your planner. And then just a laminated card. And then this one I use to hold um, my pen holder. And that's just, I, I don't remember, I think that was a couple Januarys ago is what that um, one is from, but I thought that it went really well. And then the cute little sign-in clip again. And then I wanna show you, I wanna point out a couple of things. Our pretty pen, it's screen printed, it's got the screen printed leaves, and it's the same leaf design. If you remember, we did um, a mechanical pencil with the orange leaves like this a couple years ago. And then has the daisy on the top, and then the the white crystals. Isn't that pretty? That's the pen. I wanted to show you. Now I had I used a, a little paper clip to extend mine because I have mine hanging from the bottom. But this beautiful dangle charm. Isn't that pretty? All of those colors. So a lot of times I'll put a tassel on the top of my planner, but this month I'm just using this as the decoration underneath. You could also attach it to the little zipper. I'm, I'm I toyed with that idea, but I like having it hang off the bottom. So I'll attach that back when I'm done. I showed you the glitter dots. This is so awesome. This big, so if you look at it compared to our normal size notepad, is um, this is was in, because they're sold out, so I have to say the word was, uh, in the um, planner add-on kit. And it's just a larger size notepad. I absolutely love this. We're doing them again. I believe we have one coming up in July. So be watching for that. People loved these. So we'll definitely be doing more of them. They're really great. Oh, and 
Um, I'm not going to say exactly what it is, but we have a fun promo coming up this weekend. So be watching for that. It has to do with a notepad, but that's all I'm saying. And then if you received the classified planner edition, you saw, let me take this off of here. You received one of these. That is to be used for your washi tape. So you can put your washi tape on there and it's super handy. And we had a lot of washi tape this month. And so you can, you can hold them all, you can hang it from your tote. If you have a, a tote bag or a craft bag that you have all of your stuff in, you can hang it from that and then it holds them all. Um, if you have a larger pouch, it will even fit in one of the larger pouches. Speaking of pouches, the main planner kit came with this beautiful, um, we call them like a sticker pocket or a zippered sticker pocket because they tend to lay flatter and they hold your stickers so nice. So um, obviously you can use this as a pencil pouch too, which is what I've done with this one. Just got loads of stuff in there, but um, you can use it. It keeps your stickers really nice and safe and they all of our sticker sizes will fit in there. And that is in the, um, the main planner kit. And it's just this kind of nice, kind of almost like a weathered grid because some of the grid is a little distressed so it's it goes so well with it with the pretty ferns so there is that and then I showed you the printables oh let me just show you again so the traveler's notebook memory keeping kit I wanted to show you my layouts I don't have my oh I do I do I have so the traveler's notebook memory keeping kit I did two layouts in my simple jewelry and this one I did these um, kind of triangles and layered them because I just thought the the patterns were so fun a little bit of rub on there and then I took a tag and then I stamped um, the little build a plant there and then this one I did the same thing um, I built built the little plants planted my little plants by stamping I did some fun layers with the pattern papers and then just simply a few rub ons and some die cuts. So that is the um, the simple dory, and that is in part of the um, Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. The modern memory keeping kit, I did something completely different. I gardening's my jam. I love to garden, and I usually take a um, a standard notebook or a simple dory, and I make my planting list and and that using that. But I wanted to do something a little different. I had this lovely Kate Spade kind of little personal size planner. And I wanted to make a mini album using the modern memory keeping kit. But I wanted it to be for my planting lists. So what I did is I used a combination of um, a lot of the different items that came in the kit. So this little guy is from a past kit though. And then I, I just tucked in a couple of the cards. This is the little acrylic grow. And then I made almost like a little mini album. And I even used some of the glassine um, envelope that the cards come in. So the, the cards, the, um, the pocket cards that come in the kit. So that's just tucked in there. And that's a picture from last year from my garden. And then I'm just gonna page through here. So I made like a little mini album but it's actually for me to, to make my planting list. And then as the year goes uh, through the season, I like to take pictures so I can take notes of what works and what doesn't work and what liked what spot and so on. And so I did some rub-ons and these are all note cards from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. And I can add pictures on some of these if I want. Um, on this card, and this is a card that we have um, every month. And you could actually turn it into a, um, a calendar. So I just I stamped the days of the week or the dates in there, added a, a little bit of rub on, some other stamping. And then I just added, I did the May, May planting schedule. So I'll make note on here when I, when I start to plant and what I wanna put where. Uh, rub on, a little piece of chipboard. So then this section 
is actually for my planting list. So this I will go through and I'll write down the plants that I need to buy, um, where I need to go to get them because there's different greenhouses that I go for different plants, vegetables, herbs, all that kind of stuff. So I just did a little stamping in there. And then these were just some lined paper I had that I cut down and I just cut down to fit the four by six and I put in there another uh, little grouping of the cards. And then this is where, um, and I'm, I'm kind of nerdy. <laughs> I'm gonna admit this, I'm kind of nerdy when it comes to um, my garden and planting. And I literally will draw like diagrams for the pots. So I love to use a lot of annuals in my pots and get a lot of color. And so I will literally draw out like what plants are gonna like little diagrams. <laughs> We're going to total like garden nerd. <laughs> and then um, just a little section here that's going to talk about what worked, what didn't work, um, throw in a few pictures. So that's what these pages were. The uh, Modern Memory Keeping Kit comes with a couple of sheets of plain white cardstock. So I cut those down for pages, added some washi tape. I stamped the, uh, the little field notes stamp that was part of the kit which is the same as the, um, the sticky notepad and I cut that out. And then I just put that on the side there. So I can put a picture and then I have a little, little area for notes. And I just put the washi tape along the bottom and then just another card where I used that little ampersand stamp. I'm not sure what I'll use that for. And then it's just kind of the back of the booklet. And this is just relax. And then I was able to fit in one of those larger notepads and a pen in here. So I can take this right with me to the greenhouse and I have my list with me, or if I'm at a doctor's appointment or an appointment for the kids, I can take this out and I can use it. And it's, yeah, I love it. So definitely be doing that again next year. And that was items from the modern memory keeping kit. Oh, I know one thing I was gonna point out. So these, if you're not sure what these are from the picture that you see on the website, these are adhesive backed pockets. So they will stick. And these are in the classified planner edition. And there's a larger one and a smaller one. So this would fit like an A5. So I was actually thinking well, two things. I was thinking I would maybe put this on a page in here and use it to tuck in. Sometimes when you get plants, you get the little, um, the little tag that says what it is and how to water it and what sun it needs. And I, I'd like to keep them because I don't necessarily remember all of the names of a plant. So if it's something new, I was thinking I would keep this in there to tuck those in, in there. And then the larger one is actually, you can fit a few sheets of this larger notepad. So what I'm thinking is I may put this on a dashboard with a few sheets of this tucked in it so I can grab them. And then it's not gonna add, again, a bunch of bulk in my planner. So that was something else I wanted to point out. So that is my May setup. I hope you've enjoyed that. And I, I hope some of the new things that I'm trying have maybe inspired you. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to May. I'm looking forward to warmer weather and sharing lots of pictures of my garden with y'all because like I said that's my jam and I'm kind of a nerd that way <laughs> but thank you all so much and I will talk to you again soon